Have you ever wondered how water resources, something as fundamental as the rivers flowing through a nation, can influence relations between countries? Take for example India and Pakistan. The waters of the Ravi River, one of the five tributaries that gives Punjab its name, meaning five rivers, have long been a source of contention and negotiation. The Ravi, a transboundary river originating in the western Himalayas, flows through India into Pakistan, where it joins the Chenab River. The water allocation of this river, as well as the Bias and Sutlej, is governed by the Indus Water Treaty. This agreement, in place since the mid-20th century, has played a significant role in shaping the bilateral relations between these two nations. But as with any resource, changes in its management can stir the waters of discord. One project that has been at the center of these water-related discussions is the Shapur Kandi Dam project. The Shapur Kandi Dam project, located on the Ravi River in Punjab, has a history that is as riveting as the river it harnesses. Nestled in the Pathankot district, this project is downstream from the existing Ranjit Sagar Dam. A testament to human ingenuity, the Shapur Kandi Dam captures the water released by the Ranjit Sagar Dam, using it to generate power. This project's inception was driven by a need for power generation and irrigation in Punjab and the state of Jammu and Kashmir. It stands as a monumental achievement of the irrigation department of the government of Punjab, showcasing their dedication towards the development and prosperity of the region. The Shapur Kandi Dam project is much more than just a dam. It comprises a 55.5 meter high concrete gravity dam, a 7.70 kilometers long hydel channel, two head regulators and two powerhouses. This intricate construction allows it to harness the mighty Ravi River's energy, generating an impressive output capacity of 206 megawatts. The Ravi River, where this project is located, is a transboundary river of India and Pakistan. As one of the five tributaries of the Indus River, it gives the Punjab, meaning five rivers, its name. The river originates in the western Himalayas and flows through the Indian state of Punjab before entering Pakistan, where it eventually joins the Chenab River. The Ravi River's course is approximately 720 kilometers, with about 158 kilometers flowing through India and the remaining flowing through Pakistan. The Shapur Kandi Dam project, with its strategic location and purpose, serves as a crucial element in the management and utilization of the Ravi River's waters. This project, along with the existing Ranjit Sagar Dam, plays a significant role in regulating the flow of water, ensuring the optimal use of this valuable resource. Thus, the Shapur Kandi Dam, with its power generation and irrigation capabilities, holds a significant position in the region. But what makes the Shapur Kandi Dam project truly remarkable is its engineering prowess. The Shapur Kandi Dam project nestled on the Ravi River is a marvel of modern engineering. This colossal structure stands tall at 55 and a half meters, constructed in the form of a concrete gravity dam. This type of dam is designed to hold back water by primarily using the weight of the material itself to resist the horizontal pressure of the water. The project also includes a hydroelectric channel, stretching an impressive 7.7 kilometers. This channel plays a vital role in the project's power generation, carrying water from the dam to the powerhouses. Speaking of powerhouses, the Shapur Kandi Dam project boasts two of these technological wonders. These structures house the machinery that converts the kinetic energy of falling or fast-flowing water into electric power. This is where the magic happens, where the raw power of nature is harnessed and transformed into a resource that can light up cities. But the engineering prowess of this project doesn't stop there. It also incorporates two head regulators. These devices control the amount of water that flows into the Heidel channel, ensuring the optimal operation of the powerhouses. It's a delicate balancing act, a dance between nature and technology, and it's performed with precision at the Shapur Kandi Dam project and the result of this engineering marvel? A staggering total output capacity of 206 megawatts. To put that into perspective, that's enough power to supply around 165,000 homes for a year. It's a testament to what can be achieved when human ingenuity meets nature's power. The Shapur Kandi Dam project is more than just a dam. It's a symbol of progress, a beacon of development, and a monument to the power of engineering. 
It stands as a testament to what we can achieve when we harness the power of nature responsibly and sustainably. The Shapur Kandidam project is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of engineering. The completion of the Shapur Kandi Dam project has far-reaching implications, particularly for India-Pakistan relations. The Shapur Kandi Dam, a towering structure of concrete and steel on the Ravi River, has effectively stemmed the flow of water from the River Ravi to Pakistan. This development is not just a feat of engineering but also a geopolitical maneuver with profound implications. For starters, the dam project has significant implications for the agricultural sector in the region. The Ravi River, one of the five tributaries of the Indus River that give Punjab its name, is a lifeline for the agricultural communities in both India and Pakistan. By controlling the water flow, India can now regulate the amount of water that reaches the farmlands across the border, potentially impacting the agricultural output of the region. But it's not just about agriculture, the dam project also has implications for power generation. The Shahpur Kandi Dam is designed to generate over 200 megawatts of electricity, bolstering India's energy resources. The dam's completion means that India can now harness the full potential of the Ravi River for power generation, thereby reducing its reliance on fossil fuels and moving closer to its renewable energy goals. However, these developments are not without their tensions. The dam project has been a point of contention between India and Pakistan, with the latter expressing concerns about the potential impact on its water security. It's a delicate balance of power, where the control of water resources could tip the scales in favor of one country over the other. In conclusion, the Shapur Kandi Dam project is more than just a dam. It's a strategic asset, a catalyst for change, and a testament to human ingenuity. It's an example of how water resources, often taken for granted, can become a tool for progress, a source of power, and a catalyst for conflict. In the grand scheme of things, the Shapur Kandi Dam project is a powerful symbol of the role of water resources in shaping the destiny of nations.